If you look at the Earth, you can see the majority of the surface is covered by water, about 71%, and the 29% is covered by land. You could say that water is the true owner of Earth. And when you look at it from space, you see the planet as a bluish white planet. The blue is obviously the oceans and seas, while the white is the clouds that are formed from this water. And in the middle of all these colors, you'll see some brown, green, and yellow. We got a little too serious, because this video is meant to be a funny thing, and it's not to be taken seriously. In this video, we want to see what would happen if land and water on Earth is swapped. If you don't like the cold weather, you will probably like this change here on Earth. Because if land and water are swapped, and 29% of Earth is water now, the average temperature of the whole planet will rise drastically. If you take a close look at Earth's weather, even though the sun beams on it day and night, but it doesn't get too hot. The biggest reason for that is the amount of water that the surface holds. 90% of the heat that the sun beams on Earth is absorbed by the water on Earth. So if this were to take place, the weather would get hotter and hotter every day. After this change, the absorption from 90% goes all the way down to 37%. Scientists believe that if something actually like this were to take place, the only livable spot will be next to the oceans. Because the farther you get away from the shore, the more desert-like it's gonna be. In this type of world, we have to get rid of our warm clothes, because it will never feel cold again. And of course, we have to say goodbye to sports like skiing, because there would be no snow left, not on the equator or the poles. It's also good to know that when the ice melts on the North and South Pole, the water level will rise a little bit. Another thing huge bodies of water does on Earth is that they create oxygen and send it to space or the atmosphere. And when you make these oceans smaller, the amount of oxygen pumped in the air is going to be much lower. And in return, the amount of CO2 we have in the air is going to rise drastically. Carbon dioxide or CO2 is a greenhouse gas, and this causes the Earth to get even warmer. In this heat, the oceans warm up and cause a lot of marine life to go extinct. And many more marine life will die rather than land animals. Right now, 21% of the atmosphere is formed with oxygen. And scientists say, if the amount of oxygen goes below 14%, it will get dangerous for animals, especially humans. And if it gets under 10%, death has a high chance. And under 6%, death is guaranteed. But if we do this, the clip ends. Since this is a fun video, we're gonna imagine, since we're so technologically advanced, we could create a machine so we can breathe in a weather like this. So let's see what happens. The tech we created is only good for humans, and right off the bat, the herbivores die. And that's because there's not enough plants for these animals. But there are certain animals on Earth that love this weather, and they could adapt quickly. Especially cold-blooded animals, like lizards and snakes. Most birds and mammals will go extinct, but some of those that could adapt will survive. Just like we said, most of the extinction will take place in the seas and ocean. And the ones that actually do survive in the water, they will stay extremely small. And generation after generation, they will get even smaller. And that's because of the lower oxygen levels in the oceans. We said before, the most livable condition in this situation would be near the water. In this situation, most of the beaches are taken. And the farther you get from the shore, the less people you can find. And the farther you get, the chance of death rises drastically. Because not everybody can make themselves reach the coastline. 
So we could say most of Earth's population will die and the only ones that will survive is by the water. This incident will cause a huge change in fresh water because when you lower the oxygen levels in a body of water, the acidity of the water begins to rise and that means fresh water will be very rare. Obviously in a situation like this, you have to be a very powerful person to be able to live on the coastline and most importantly, you need fresh water to survive. Because in a situation like this, the desalination plant is going to be shut down. In this world, like we said, the lands are now oceans and the oceans are land. So that means we now have access to the depths of the oceans we could never explore. Scientists believe if this actually takes place, we'll be confronted with a lot of new volcanoes on land because the amount of volcanoes in the depths of the ocean is much higher than the lands we have today. Before then, the volcanoes would activate underwater and nobody would notice. But now, everybody notices. You can find 15 times the volcanoes in the depths of the seas compared to land. The biggest mountain range on Earth will also show itself, which is 60,000 kilometers. This is the biggest one, but there is a lot of other mountain ranges. One of the most interesting spots on Earth is in the depths of the Pacific Ocean called the Marianas Trench. And if this happens, we have access to it and we could actually see it. And if they create a stairway or an elevator, we could actually go to the bottom. So if the water and land swap with each other, all the cities we know and love will be underwater. But on the other side, if the oceans dry out, we might find lost civilizations like the city of Atlantis. Atlantis is an ancient city that Egyptians and ancient Greece talked about and they didn't exactly know where it went underwater. So if it dries out, we could all find it. The earth will be a hellhole. Anything valuable we had in history, all the old buildings we built, all of them will be underwater in the oceans and we will have some unusable land. If you take a look at Earth's map, you'll see that if the oceans and seas are turned into land, all the land will be connected to each other because the oceans and seas are all connected to each other except the lake. So that means you could pretty much take a car or train everywhere on Earth. Take a look at the Middle East. Imagine it swapped with bodies of water. In this case, the Caspian Sea is the biggest island in the world. And the Persian Gulf and Red Sea will look very interesting if this happens. Life would be completely different as well. If this actually takes place, evolution would be completely different and the path will be drastically changed. Living beings will evolve much differently because they have to adapt to a whole new planet. One million years later, we might be confronted with animals we would never thought be born if this didn't happen. This was a nightmare, but thank God this was just a fun video we made. The earth was pretty much a hellhole, and I don't even care to visit the Marianas Trench or not. What do you guys think?